All right, first thing I'm going to say with uh, this trade, or any trade really, um, at least from my perspective, I think the best type of trade is when both play uh, players, both people are feeling like they're getting a better deal and perhaps are ripping the other side off, but uh, admit it kind of thing. I don't feel like I did this. Anyways, this is a trade um, with the grog shed I got to do, which I'm really happy about. It happened quick. Um, Anyways, I got a ton of stuff as far as I'm concerned. And let's be honest, you got to look at it from context. What is value? Uh, what do I value? Well, obviously, I value World War I related uh, material, which includes games, for Christ's sakes. So to me, this is valuable. And that's why I was like, I feel like I did not give up or whatever the heck. So if you want to call it give up. I gave up uh, the newer version of uh, Desert Fox Deluxe by Decision Games, and I threw in, oh darn it, uh, Poland Defiant, I think, by Revolution Games. Anyways, look what I got for crying out loud. So I got uh, 1914 um, Serbine, Mus uh, Serbine um, by GMT, uh, Michael Rush game. Looks darn good. Uh, I've heard it's like, you know, um, I guess there's a newer version of it or like less complicated. Look at that cover. That looks pretty sweet to me. There's a lot going on, even just this tiny little bit up here. Kind of reminds me of um, the Spanish women looking down at Ferdinand when he was coming, back, uh, coming into Mer Madrid to fight. Look at that, eh? Oh my gosh, does that remind you of... Um, Kind of, in some ways, uh, of um, 1916 uh, Prelude to Blitzkrieg. Does to me. Anyways, so I'm getting this. I'm happier in hell. Well, getting this. I have it. No idea what's going on. Like I said, I'm just pretty darn happy. All right, next. I'm assuming this must be Stalin. <laughs> I know he was in World War One. Sorry with the uh, glare. But, uh, God almighty, does that ever look like Stalin? Holy smokes. But this was part of uh, Heat uh, Wings over Ara, Ararras, uh, Operational Air Combat, 1917. Can you see that? I'm not really looking, sorry. That looks pretty neat. Look, look, I'm just going to do whatever I do. Yeah. 100 Squadron, that's cool. Oh my god, I just remember reading something about someone, I don't know who which side it was, but they purposely uh, used numbers way above what they had. Oh, I think it was the tanks, uh, the British. Uh, they were using tank numbers way more than they had because they were trying to get the Germans to pretend, uh, like think, holy shoot, these guys got a ton of tanks. Uh, yeah, anyways, he was reading this book. Uh, I'm assuming he's giving it to me. I don't know <laughs> if it's a lender. It doesn't really matter because we're going to hopefully meet at the War Museum, uh, Canadian War Museum, and um, go to the used bookstore, hang out, chit-chat, wander around. Oh, my God. I'm a member of the War Museum. I can bring him in as a guest. Oh, my God. I didn't think about that. There you go, Grog Shed. You can go in free. Uh, no worries there. And then he got me the original version of Death in the Trenches, and I'm really excited by this. Remember, I, yes, I know uh, Clark Commando 1983, and uh, other people are like, for God's sakes, get the proper version, the newer version of uh, Death in the Trenches. You won't be, um, um, you know, disappointed. But hey, man, I'm, it's free, and I'm doing what uh, I, I probably am. Look, do you honestly think I'm going to be deviated? too much from my game downstairs. Give me a bloody break. That thing is just like a vacuum cleaner of a black hole from hell. Like, I, you know, it's just nuts. Um, yeah, so there we go. I'm happier in hell. Look at this thing. I'm, this is interesting for the death in the trenches. Hmm. This looks neat. Yeah, I know it's a funky looking map, but I'm used to funky looking maps by now. Yeah, it's interesting they did it this uh, uh, this way. I like I like this. To be honest with you, I like uh, looking at things from different ways, and I'm like, well, yeah. Screw the uh, north south crap, man. Let's go uh, west east, east west. You know what I'm saying?
Why not? Yeah, that's it. It's been a weird day, man, to be honest with you. It's been a very strange day. It's been a fun, strange day, but just a strange day. Oh, Lord have mercy. I'm going to have to stop this. We'll see how it goes.